everybody, Ranjan here, bringing you yet another StarCraft commentary. I see they took away the perverted ass intro, that's interesting, instead they get us some metro station. That's good, I guess. Alright, there's gonna be an ace match between Wujing Stars and the OGN Sparkies. Free versus Ida. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I can't sing worth the damn. Right. Protoss versus Terran. Both guys are about 55% in this matchup, so they're pretty even there. I look forward to seeing that. Rita is being the crazy guy here. The Beast. I think that's what they should nickname him. The Beast. Because he's a beast. He's at 70 plus percent in VT and DZ. He's 55% VP, 67% overall win ratio. Are you kidding me? Do you realize how high that is? I just really look forward to seeing him play in the MSL. Free? Don't count him out. He's pretty good. He's very good. 4, 3, 2, 1. Go. Free was in a little bit of a slump. Well, not really a slump. He just didn't win a lot for a little while. But we'll see what kind of effect that has here. It's going to be a Neo Harmony. A very rather equal map for in TBP. Uh, it's about a 50% in win, rate, rate, bleh, win rates, I believe. We're going to have Lita in, I believe, that's white or skin color, beige, whatever it's called, in the... Uh, lower right, and Lita is going to be in the lower left in red as a Terran. Harmony, pretty interesting map. There's a lot of this is map, map artifacts that can be used to your kind of these kind of mazes that can be used pretty well uh, because big units cannot really travel through those very well. So it's very important what, how the players use them if they plant their uh, units and do a surround this pretty well. That's unfortunately doesn't really give Terrans a lot of maneuverability, but at the same time they can use those mazes to protect their tanks pretty well, so that's going to be very interesting. Rita setting down his supply depot inside the base, so I don't know, looks pretty standard so far. Protoss pylon, <coughs> Protoss pylon because other races have pylons as well, Zurich pylons, because they, they're made of skin. Right, so, pretty standard fare so far, both players looking very focused with their pretty little headphones that look like they're made to block out sound, which they are, they're those kind of headphones that support to block out sound. SCV moving out, I did not see a barracks being built, so that's either an early scout, we're gonna see something interesting. What, which is it later? Oh, we're gonna see something interesting! Uh, the barracks could be there for... That could be for a marine rush. For he could go for a bunker rush. On the other hand, he could just be setting that bunker there, uh, far away from his base, simply to be able to <coughs> float it up. Although that's more standard procedure procedure in TBT. We're gonna see how that goes. Right, a uh, simulator going down in the gateway, and what's the third building from free? Show it. Show it. Show it. Thank you. Cybernetics Corps. I was pretty much guessing it was a Cybernetics Corps, but sometimes guys, guys go for a second pile on first. You know what I mean? Uh, Lita now sending out his SCV to scout uh, counterclockwise. No, clockwise. So that's going to be pretty good. But he is going to see that probe with that barracks and going to see where Free is. I think Free should. No! No! Free does not spot the barracks! Lita, I don't think actually spotted that probe either, so he's gonna use that SCV that he used to build that barracks with to send in a scout. I don't see him floating his barracks though, so that might really be to go for a proxy. That might be a proxy trying to go for some sort of rush. That probe sitting down and saying, Oh, a pilot. There is a Cybernetics core, and apparently the second gateway of Freeze is going to be just outside of Lita's base. That's going to be very interesting, because he's blocked Lita from scouting. Lita, meanwhile, is sending out Marines to see what they can do, possibly trying to find any proxies. Oh, this CV does go inside, though. It does not see the second gateway. There's a goon there to pre prevent that. See how quickly he prevents that? Does he prevent it quickly enough? No, he does not. Lita gets a full scout. Gets to see everything there is to see. You know, if Free had prevented that to see that 
uh, Uida might have thought that the second gate was in a different position for some reason. Don't ask me that why that would be the case, but I don't read minds. I'm not a mind reader. So, proxy robotics facility, not gateway. Proxy robotics facility going down for free. We're going to see how successful that's going to be. That that barracks is still there, used to pumping out marines, and not those marines not doing anything funky, just blocking the ramp of leaders. And Dragoon, meanwhile, for free, moving in, we're going to see whether that does anything. And a probe also going out there, we're going to see if that kind of pop down an expansion. Robotics facility is still there in the back, and that's actually a very good position for it, because if it gets forces there for it, it's going to be able to just move in right from back. It hasn't been spotted by Lita yet. We're going to see whether it goes. What does it? Okay, it just puts down the robotics facility, does nothing else, no ground forces nothing I thought okay he, he puts down the robotics support inside of his main meanwhile a uh, starport in a slightly hidden position there by Lita so he ha he's gonna have air and we're gonna see how quickly that reaver that is gonna come out for free and whether Lita spots that or not that starport if that's for wraiths that could be pretty dangerous. Well, I'm not used to seeing Starports this early in TV <laughs> TVPs. So I don't really know what to think. Could be okay. It's a control tower, so it is indeed wraiths. So that is going to be very dangerous. Uh, that shuttle is now out. If that gets spotted by the wraith, free is screwed. His whole tactic is going to go out the window. Is going to be in big trouble. But but if that wraith does not spot the shuttle, and the reaver co goes right into the base of of Lita and does a lot of damage. It's going to be bad. Observatory, meanwhile, coming down for uh, free. And Lita getting his control tower almost ready. The Reaver should be coming in any minute now. That barracks now going to be used for spotting. And two tanks and a bunch of Marines and a Vulture and a couple of... And an SCV as well going to move in. They're going to cut, catch us all. And Dragoon out of position just to try to move into the defense. There's nothing but Dragoon to defend. Free now in trouble. A bunch of Marines taking shots there and also an SCV. So in big trouble here, Free. Got nothing but Dragoon to defend and just one gateway this bad. Okay, Reaver and the Shell is inside. We're going to see if that gets met by that Wraith or not. Those tanks now doing a lot of trouble. Met by probes and Dragoons. Bunch of probes should be able to move in. We'll see what kind of damage they can do. All oh, as Dragoon goes down. Reaver, meanwhile, is inside the base of Leos. He's shooting scabs everywhere. There's nothing to take it. Ooh, look at those seven kills of our eight kills. Everything dying. And those tanks. A Zealot now finally out to try to defend. Oh, man. So many kills for that Reaver. All SCVs going down. So now it's just a question of who does what kind of damage. Nothing but probes to defend inside of Freeze Base. His uh, Lita's tanks are pretty badly damaged. But it's not by Reaver. That shuttle, meanwhile, is going to move back into the base. And there is... Never mind. So apparently there was no Wraith. So it was just a drop ship for Lita. And he's going to take out the last of the probes of Free. And there's a Dragoon out. A Dragoon's get taken out by mine. Oh, man. Those tanks are very badly damaged. One scarab will take them out completely, but the last probes of... Oh, man! That choke is met by a reaver! It did not manage to move outside the base. There's nothing but a reaver now here, and the shuttle does go down. There's nothing but a wraith there, and uh, Free is such bad trouble. Did not move back his shuttle to defend his own base, and now there's nothing stopping from those... E oh! The reaver goes down after taking out a lot of SUVs. Free or pretty as, to, as he likes to call him these days. GG's. Oh, good game, really. <laughs> Man, look at that midget being all happy. But yeah, nice, very nice game sense by Lita there. Reading that there was a time to push. There was only one gateway inside of Free's base. So no matter what Free was doing, Lita knew that he could move out. Second time here today that he gives out a pillow to a girl. Maybe they will dream about him, is what he thinks. Um, Free looking dejected, looking incredibly disappointed there. Yeah, it was a pretty good strategy on his part. He did do a lot of... caught Lita by surprise, but at the same time he did not manage to hold off his own base, which was what killed him in the end. Those tanks moving in didn't even have siege at all, they just didn't, and their damage... doing the damage that they needed to do. The stars, unfortunately, lining up to bow in defeat, thanking uh, their fans for being there. So yeah, Wounding Stars, after an incredibly good start to the season, are just slowly, slowly fading back into the bottom six, which I find extremely disappointing. SKT1 taking their place, and Ojing's Parky is still going strong. They're in the top six, they're going to stay there for the foreseeable future.
Good games, all in all. Good performance by Lita. Good, good performance by Free and GG Play. Good performance by most players. No huge favors, failures. Um, it's been ranching. Uh, thanks, guys. And look forward to commentating again pretty soon.